For DIY number one, I am taking one of these 3D pumpkin wire wreath forms from the Dollar Tree and also some jute twine. And I'm going to go sit at my couch, watch some TV, and just wrap this whole thing up. And yeah, you need to good, watch a really good show and, and wrap this up because it's a little tedious, but believe me, it's well worth it in the end. So I even do the stem part. I do all of it until it looks like this. Super cute. So now I'm taking some of this. It's like a meshed craft paper. It's, it's a, like a packing paper that came from one of my online orders. I think Thrive Market, I believe is where I got it from. And it's just a packing paper. So instead of throwing it away, I'm going to utilize it. And I think for this application, it's so adorable. So here I just cut it really rough and applying some hot glue and applying my wreath form to get the basic form of it. And once I get that, then I'll go ahead and trim up the rest. Well, let me finish gluing it. And once I get it all glued, then I'll trim up the rest just with some scissors. And look at this. This gives it such a cute look, very unique almost like trash to treasure. Something that would have gone in the trash is now going to be something beautiful. And I've never seen anybody else do this. So yeah, let me know if you guys have seen this before. I know you've seen them do the 3D pumpkin form because of course Dollar Tree sells them, but have they used this paper? Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> okay. So here's my mess. Okay, so now I'm taking some of these pomegranates and foxtails and these pretty flowers and just different florals, different fall florals. And I'm just going to make little bundles and create something really pretty to put inside this wreath form. And there's really no rhyme or reason. I just kind of bundle everything up just so I could put something tall in the back and something short in the front and I'll tie it with some raffia just a quick little tie and then I fold the whole thing up under so I can fit it in the wreath form and I literally just stick it in there look at this one two three boom just stuck it in there <laughs> fluff up the the florals a little bit add a little bit of hot glue just to make sure it all stays in there secure in place Add a couple little more picks here and there where I feel like it may need a little bit more something something. And look at this. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. Look how beautiful. So the twine with that meshed craft paper and the florals. Beautiful. And so now I'm just going to add some of this wire jute twine for the hanger. And, oh my goodness, I'm almost ready to just put it in my front door. It's just so cute. Cute, cute, cute. And just like this, it's done. And I didn't add a ribbon, a bow, because I felt like it had enough florals. But what do you guys think? So cute. For DIY number two, I'm taking one of these pretty weathered palette boards that I had in my backyard and four of these craft sticks and with my miter shears, I'm going to create little triangle tops on the top and just like that, I'm going to glue these onto my palette board to create a little like picket fence and I was going to paint them but I figured since the weathered palette board was already in one color, I figured I would just leave this the natural color because when you buy the fence panels they usually come this natural wood color anyway so I figure I would leave it like that so now I'm taking one of these wood trucks from the Dollar Tree and it's got the pumpkins on it and I'm going to go in with some of the pumpkin chalk paint by Waverly and I'm going to paint up the little pumpkins and then I'm going to take some of the nutmeg apple barrel paint and I'm going to paint up the wagon part of this truck. And then I'm going to take some of the Flamenco Red by Apple Barrel. And I'm going to paint up the whole little truck with this color. 
and I'm going to dip my brush back into the nutmeg just to give it a little bit of rust on some of the edges of the truck and I also do it to the pumpkins just to give it a little bit of a highlight a little bit of distressing on it just to make it look a little bit more natural and now I'll take some of this pewter gray by Apple Barrel to do the hubcaps and some of the black by Apple Barrel to do the tires until it looks like this and now I'm ready to add my little red truck to my palette board and I decided I want this to stand out a little bit more like a 2d so I'm adding these four tumbling tar blocks just going to glue them on the palette board and then I'll glue the truck onto the tumbling tar blocks so it looks like this and now it has more of a 2d effect with that gap inside and it's a perfect space to add my little scarecrow and these little scarecrows will represent my grandchildren because yes I always have to do that <laughs> so here I'm just gonna stick them in there and they fit in there perfectly and once I get them all in there it's like yes we're all going to Mimi's house the gangs are going to Mimi's house <laughs> but look how cute so now I'm going to embellish this whole setup with some of these really pretty sunflowers that are from the Dollar Tree that come on these little wires and I'm going to take apart a few of them and add a little bunch and hot glue it to the fence to make it look like the flowers are just growing um, out in the out by the fence and some of the little teeny tiny ones as well because you know sunflowers they don't just all have one size there's always some little ones and some big ones so I'll just keep adding and then I'll also use some of this greenery from the Dollar Tree because it's got to have some greenery too and it just gives it that really cute look super cute look until it looks like this look how adorable so now I'm going to take a couple of these tumbling tar blocks I'm just going to glue them together and I'm going to glue enough to make a little sign that's going to go on my little fence panel and with the marker I'm just going to write I'm going to keep it simple and just write Mimi's house just like that and now I'm just going to hot glue this to my fence panel and that is it super cute what do you guys think For DIY number three, I'm taking three pumpkins of different sizes. I'm taking this big one that says thankful and blessed. And I'm going to also take this one that says hello fall. It's a smaller one on a stand and I'm removing the stand. And I'm also taking this DIY one that's got the grooves in the inside, removing the raffia and I'm using the backs of the rest. So I'm going to go in with some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color truffle in the color cashew and hazelnut. So I'll begin by painting one in the cashew, this big one, and just like this, got it all painted. And now I'm gonna take some of this hazelnut to paint the grooves of this DIY pumpkin. So it looks like this. And now I'm going to take the two paints that are in my dish and mix them together and I'm gonna add them to the big pumpkin for a little bit of shadowing and I'll take another one of these DIY pumpkins and I'll paint it with the pumpkin Waverly chalk paint and let it dry and then I'll take some of these wood stems from the Dollar Tree and I'll take my knife part of my multi-tool that I have and I'll put it in the center and I'll use my hammer and I'll just pop them in half like this <laughs> got to get the aggression out <laughs> and so once I have them cut in half then I'll hot glue a piece to the top actually I'll hot glue the two together and I'll add a piece to the top and I'll create these stems and I'll do this to all three pumpkins so I got rid of the smaller pumpkin I ended up using the two uh, mid-sized pumpkins instead the two DIY pumpkins and now I'm taking a jute twine and some beads some of them the natural ones are from Amazon and the colored ones are from the Dollar Tree the hair section 
and I'm just going to string them onto this piece of jute twine to create a hanger. And so this particular DIY, you can either place it on a tabletop because I'm going to use the stands that come on the smaller pumpkins and you'll see that in a minute. Or you could use, or you could utilize the hanger that I'm creating here, the beaded hanger and hang it on your door. So here's the hanger, all nice and pretty on my big pumpkin. And here I'm going to, I'm going to hot glue the two, the two DIY pumpkins onto the larger pumpkin. And I'm just going to hot glue them to create like a, like a triple grouping of pumpkins, the neutral one in the center, and then the two orangey ones on the sides. And I'm gluing the back part too, just to help reinforce it. And now I'll flip it over and I'll add some embellishments. I'll, I'm taking these two ribbons from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use the two brown ones to add them to the smaller pumpkins and then the one orange ribbon to add to the bigger pumpkin. And so with these ribbons, I'll just create some loops and, and I'll wrap it in jute twine and then I'll add the tails to it just to create a really quick little bow, no fuss. And so here you'll see, here's a little piece for the tail and then add that with you twine. And then I'll just reinforce it and hot glue it and secure it onto the base of the stem, the wood stem like this. And so once I get that done, then I'll take the galvanized leaf that came on this piece and I'll go ahead and place it back on. So it'll have a different element of texture. It'll have a metal texture. And now I'll add the other two bows, the brown bows to the to the smaller pumpkins, or should I say mid-sized pumpkins. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also utilize one of these metal welcome words. It's also from the Dollar Tree and I'll just hot glue that on there real quick. And so now here are the stands I was talking about. These came off the smaller pumpkins that said, hello fall. And I had removed them. And so now I'm just gonna place them onto the mid-sized pumpkins, the DIY pumpkins like this. So you can stand this up or you can hang it with the hanger. So now I'm taking some of these florals from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to add them to the bottoms because you know we have to add a little bit of florals to these pieces just to make it even more cute. And they're just like wheat pieces and some little flowers. And you could just add however, however you would like your florals. And I just added like one piece here and then one piece there, you know, just to give it that look. And here they are, here they are on the stands and, the, and here they're standing on my mantle and then I placed them on my door like this with the hanger. What do you guys think? DIY number four, I'm going to take these foam dice and I'm going to use four of them. And I'm going to go in with this Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin. Sorry that I showed you upside down. <laughs> and even though these dice are uh, orange already, the, this orange is a different shade. So I went ahead and painted the whole thing in this orange color until they all look like this. And now, now that they're all nicely covered and they're all dry, I'm going to go in with some of these letters from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to I'm just going to create the word fall. So I just add the letters. And this is so simple and this is very kid friendly because this is really easy to create. You can always add texture to it. You can always add distressing to it, but you can also just keep it simple like this. And so here are some of the burlap ribbon that they carry, Dollar Tree carries. And so I'm just going to wrap it around this whole grouping and add a couple beads of glue to secure it. And now I'm gonna create a really cute bow with the this burlap ribbon and I'll do the same way as I did the pumpkins and I'm just gonna loop a piece of uh, burlap ribbon and tie it with a piece of jute twine and then I'll place that on there. 
and I'm going to add a little piece of tumbling tar blocks in the back just so this piece will sit up straight and you won't see it once it's up on a shelf and now I'm adding some of this berry garland that also came from the Dollar Tree and I wrapped it around a pencil to create the little vines and I'll do this to four pieces two on the top and two on the bottoms and look how adorable this is so easy to make yes this is really cute this is a really cute family friendly project for sure look how adorable and you can do names too what do you guys think For DIY number five, I'm taking four of these little shadow box houses from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint the inside with two coats of white chalk paint and then the outside and the edges with one coat of the paint until I get them all to look like this. And now I'm going to take some of these sunflower wall stickers from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to place one inside of each of the little houses. And so I'll use this big one and I'll place this one inside this wider house because it's nice and wide so it'll fit there perfectly like this. And then I'll add some of the other flowers to the rest of them like this. And I lost my footage but I also added the words fall with those Dollar Tree letters. And so now I'm taking some of the foliage plants from the Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting off a couple pieces and adding them to the bottom, the bottoms of these little houses just to give it a little bit of that garden kind of look, kind of like a fall garden, something you would find on the sunflowers. And then I'm going to add some of these other little sunflowers from the Dollar Tree, these little uh, mini paper ones that are on the wire and I'm just going to glue them inside the little shadow box just to give it that 3d effect like they're growing out and I'm not going to place them all matchy matchy I'm going to make sure to place them in different parts of these boxes to make it look more natural and I'll even add a couple to one box and you know maybe leave one on one box and you know just kind of make it look natural and I'll also add some of these smaller ones as well because you know we have to have small flowers and big flowers and there's all sizes so now I'm going to add some hot glue and glue all these houses together and on this one I added too much glue but it's okay I wiped it away and I'll just glue all these houses together and I'll leave the back blank and I can use the back for another application so that's a blank canvas in the back if I want to do something else. So here they are. Look how cute. What do you guys think? For DIY number six, I'm taking one of these foam pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and I removed the stem. And now I'm taking the serrated part of my multi-tool and I'm going to saw off the inside and make a hole and make the hole as about as big as a good finger or so and I'm taking one of these microfiber mops from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to pull the mop part out of the base and it comes right off you just pull just kind of pull and it just comes right out so once I get that out then I'm going to lay this piece flat on my table I don't remove the center I leave it intact just kind of fluff it out a little bit, fan it out. And now with some of this white chalk paint, I'm going to paint this whole pumpkin and I'm going to use my ruler or a paint stir stick to put inside the hole so I can paint the whole thing without making it too messy. So that's a really good little hack. Use a ruler <laughs> or a paint stir stick. So once I get it all painted and it's nice and dry, then I'll place my pumpkin on top of this fanned out mop and I'm going to just start 
uh, poking all these strands inside of the hole and just take your time and just keep uh, putting these strands in there and you're just going to do one strand at a time and just keep going and working and it'll all fit in there everything will fit and so just make sure you're covering the whole pumpkin until you get it looking like this look how cute and so now I'm taking one of these Dollar Tree stems these little wood stems and I'm just going to poke it inside and I didn't show it but I also embellished it with some of the berry garland and some of the metal leaves for DIY number seven I'm taking some of these longer dowels from the Dollar Tree and nine assorted pumpkins three of the large foam ones three of the mid-sized foam ones that are covered in velvet and three of the smaller ones that have the flowers on top and I'm taking also and I'm also taking one of these messenger bags from the Dollar Tree it's made out of burlap and I'm going to utilize the front of it that's got the orange pattern on it and so I'm taking one of the mid-sized pumpkins and removed the velvet off of it and I'm going to cover this pumpkin with one of and with a piece of this burlap messenger bag the section that's got the the orange pattern on it and so I'm just going to stick it in there with my finger and hot glue it as I go and I get it all covered and I'm also taking one of these dowel rods to help push everything in place and now I'll set that aside to allow the glue to dry in the meantime I'll take some of this nutmeg paint from Apple Barrel and I'll paint up two of these wood dowel rods and I'm not even going to let them dry I'll just go ahead and place these in my two larger pumpkins like this I'm just going to place it in there and I'll do this to two pumpkins I'll add some glue and I'll stick them in and while they're standing there then I'll go ahead and finish painting up the rest of this dowel rod or dowel rods and now I'm taking some of these vines, these uh, fall vines, and I'm going to embellish this particular pumpkin, which is now I'm going back to the stack pumpkins. So I'm going to embellish this bottom pumpkin with these pieces of vines and uh, be, uh, not beads, <laughs> berries. <laughs> and so now I'll add my little pumpkin that I wrapped with the burlap add some more vines and some more berries and add some more glue and then I'll top it with one of these pumpkins with the flower on top set that aside allow that to dry all that glue to dry go back to my topiaries that are on the dowels and so here on this particular pumpkin with the velvet I'll leave the velvet there I'll just make a hole and I'll just insert this pumpkin um, maybe a third way through and embellish with some more of the vines and I'll top it with one of those pumpkins with the flower on top and I'll repeat the process for the second one until I get them all looking like this super cute and now all I have to do is get a pot and fill it up with some paper and I'm taking one of these hula skirts cutting a piece off of it and adding it to the to the base of this pot to give it that um, straw look and it it gives it that look perfectly so I just add a lot of glue to that so it'll hold it all like a lot of glue <laughs> and just press it on there don't burn your fingers and now all I have to do now is add some more glue add my topiaries on top and look so cute adorable and I do this same process to the other topiary pumpkin till I have two pumpkins two topiary pumpkins and one stacked pumpkin and now on to DIY number eight for this DIY I'm taking one of these decor pieces these little signs and they say gather and so first I attempted to just paint the front with some of this leftover apple barrel paint that I had the nutmeg but it wasn't doing a good job at all so notice that real quick gave up grabbed my Waverly chalk paint in the color truffle 
and that did a much better job. So I just painted this whole front up, left the sides intact to look like this, set that aside so it'll dry. And now I'm taking one of these gather signs, that's MDF, and with that same uh, apple barrel paint, this will cover this just fine because it doesn't have any print on it. So I'll go ahead and paint that, place that on top of my little piece, my little base that I created. I didn't paint the back. I decided to leave it natural the way it is. It, I, I kind of like the contrast when you look at it in the front, the, the natural uh, MDF with the painted part. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So here I'm just adding some tumbling tower blocks to help secure the back side of it. And so I'll just glue it down onto the base and onto the word itself. And I'll use four total. So now look, see the contrast? I like that contrast. Now all I'm going to do is embellish it. I'm going to use some of this berry garland. And I'm going to do a wrapping around the whole word. And secure it at the R and at the G. Like this. Twist it up so that it'll stay secure and in place. And now I'm taking one of these bows from the Dollar Tree and it matches the check on this base. So all I'm going to do is hot glue it to there and I'm done. So cute. And here's the look. For DIY number 9, I'm going to begin with 5 of these pumpkin color your own ornaments and I'm going to go in with some of the spackle and cover up all the holes or you can also do hot glue if you feel like it, especially if you're going to paint it up anyway. And once it's dry, I'll go in with some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color hazelnut and I'll paint 4 completely with the hazelnut and then with the last one I'll combine a little bit of the Merlot to give it a little rosy look. And now I'll take some of this moss color and just give it a little bit of shadowing on the four little pumpkins. And the four little pumpkins are going to represent my four little grandsons. And then the fifth little pumpkin, the one with the Merlot chalk paint added to the hazelnut, that one represents my granddaughter. So now I'm taking one of these larger pumpkin forms, the Thankful and Blessed, and I'm going to use the back of it and cover it up with some of this chalk paint in the color cashew and paint it all up and now like this I'll take some of the moss waverly chalk paint and add a little bit of a dry brush onto the pumpkin just to give it a little bit of shadowing a little bit of depth of color and I'm taking some more of these uh, wood pieces wood stems and I'll glue them onto the stem of this pumpkin just to give it another natural texture like this and now the little pumpkins I'll line them up on the base of the larger pumpkin and like I said that these little pumpkins will represent my grandchildren so I will go in with some of the letter stickers from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to add one initial on each pumpkin just to keep it simple and I can always go back and change it later if I want to I can use my Cricut and put their actual names on it and then I just add some florals and add a bow to the base of the stem and that is it I am done with this what do you guys think for DIY number 10 I'm taking three of these little owls they come in different shades of brown and orange and also three of these little pumpkin tea light holders and everything is made of ceramic they're all ceramic and i'm removing all the paper bits on it and all i'm going to do is look at this they all fit on here perfectly oh my goodness can you believe that perfectly so all i'm going to do is take some of these little leaves these like they're like a fabric leaves from the dollar tree and some hot glue and just place the hot glue on there add the leaves I'm, I, I thought about doing e6000 but then I'm committed for life <laughs> so I figured I'll just do the hot glue and I can remove it if I feel like it so once I get those 
leaves on there I'll add some more tiny little leaves just to give it a more natural look that way everything's not so you know matchy matchy and now I'll add some hot glue and then just stick it on there and look so cute this is it this is so simple this really should have been a hack but yes it's super cute what do you guys think for DIY number 11, I'm taking three more of these foam dice and I'm going to paint them in the pumpkin Waverly chalk paint and I also dried brushed them with a little bit of the moss. And here I'm taking the stick that I found in my backyard and I'm cutting it down with my miter shears. I just want a natural, a very natural organic look to these little pumpkins that I'm about to create with these little dice. So I find three pieces that are perfect and now with the tip of my glue gun, all I'm going to do is burn a hole that's just big enough for these twigs to go inside and I'll add a little hot glue and stick them in there. And look at that, so cute. And so now all I'm gonna do now is just embellish it with a little bit of the berry garland and a little bit of the leaves. And I am done with this one. That is it, super cute. What do you guys think? For DIY number 12, I'm just going to give this little wood block house a little uplift and I'm removing all the twine and I'm going to go in with some of the Waverly chalk paints in the color Truffle, Hazelnut, and Merlot and I'm just going to mix them all together to create my own little custom color because I just feel like this color is a little bit too drab. I wanted something just a little bit more vibrant, not too vibrant. I still want it to look like fall, but I just want it to look a little bit more vibrant. And here is looking like chocolate, melted chocolate. But no, I promise you, it's got a little tiny bit of the Merlot, so it's got a little bit of a rosy color too. I don't know, I just think it's a cute color. So I just go ahead and paint this whole thing with it. And then to give it a really good uplift, once it's dry, then I'm taking some of the tumbling tower blocks and I'm going to add glue to the little roof line and these tumbling tower blocks already come in this color and all I'm doing is lining the roof with these little blocks just to give it that extra little oomph. <laughs> just that little look. So just four blocks on each side, eight total. And then I feel like in the center is like missing a little piece. So I'm getting a little bit of a skewer and I'm just gonna stick that on there and then I go in with some paint and paint that up and then put a little wreath with just some greenery and put it around the gather and I'll go ahead and put the jute twine back on I'll just glue it and glue it on the back and that is it little upgrade super cute little block house all ready for fall what do you guys think And now for a super cute bonus hack. I'm taking some of these glittery pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and a couple of these little knobs from Amazon, these little crystal knobs. And I'm putting the little screws back on and all I'm doing is pushing these in there. And look, these are a Pottery Barn dupe. Look at that. <laughs> wow, what do you guys think? And even though they are foam, they still look great. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And until my next video, stay healthy, safe, and strong, and have a great, great day. Bye-bye.